Seth, what do you want to do today? I don't know, dude, but somebody broke inside my house and stole everything I have. So I have nothing to do. Oh, it's kind of sad, Joseph. What's that, Ken? Ken says we should go to the beach. What, the beach? The beach? Oh, I hit a body there once. Uh, the beach is so fun. I haven't been there in like, a long time, though. Me neither. Uh, what is it to do at the beach? Uh, Junior, there's hunky dudes at the beach playing beach volleyball, oiling up their muscles, flexing their muscles. That's what there's to do at the beach, Junior. Hunky dudes. And we could also make a sandcastle. Oh, dude, I'm awesome at making sandcastles. Okay, let's make a sandcastle. Okay, we're going to the beach. We're going to go to the beach. Uh, just, just one second. I, I have to call my mom. Wait. Why what? do you have to call your mom? Because uh, I, I have to ask her about going to the beach. But you're the one who thought about going to the beach, so why do you have to ask her? Like, why would you bring up something that you don't know if you can go yet? Uh, yeah. Well, no, it was Ken's idea, and, and I, I just have to tell her what I'm doing. Uh, okay, so call her. Hurry up. Yeah. All right, guys, it's ringing. Hello? Yo, moms, what up? Can I go hit up the beach with my bros? Go pick-a-licking? No, Cody, you can't go to the beach. <laughs> hey, hey, pretty, pretty pleased with the cherry on top, mom. No, Cody, I saw on TV there's a sponge that lives in a pineapple under the sea, and he's friends with a squirrel that knows karate, and she's gonna kick your butt, Cody. Mom, that's a cartoon. It's not even real. Cartoon smartoon, Cody. You can't go to the beach. All right, fine, Mom. So what'd your mom say, Cody? Yeah, dude. Uh, guys, you know my mom. She said no. Wait, she said no? Yeah. Wait, why'd she say no? Because of SpongeBob. What, SpongeBob? SpongeBob. What, what about SpongeBob? She's afraid I'm gonna get my butt kicked by Sandy Cheeks. Sandy Cheeks? <laughs> yeah. You can get beat up by an imaginary squirrel on a cartoon? <laughs> I know, it's stupid. Yeah, it's not even the ocean that we live near. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cody, you're stupid. We're still going to the beach even if you can't go. Yeah. But guys, I can't go to the beach. If she finds out that I went to the beach, I'm gonna be grounded. Cody, she's not going to find out you went to the beach. You want to know why? Because she's afraid of the beach, too. Because she thinks you're going to get beat up. She thinks she's going to get beat up. So she's not going to catch you at the beach because she's not going to be at the beach. Oh, so come on, ooh. Cody. I, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. She's not going to catch you, Cody. We're only going to be there for like an hour. And we're just going to make a sandcastle and leave. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to the beach. All right. I'm going to go ask Chef PP if he can take us. Well, you know what? I'm going to make him take us. Come on. Let's go. Come on, kid. Cook it up. Cook it up. Cook it up. Uh, hey, Chef Pee Pee. What do you want, Junior? I'm cooking pan pizza. Uh, well, I was wondering if you could take me and my friend to the beach. Wait, the beach? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh the beach. Oh, man. I'm going to find me a little fine hole, and I'm going to... Mmm, 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 Oh, 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 oh. Wait, 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 what, are you, what are you doing, Chef Pee Pee? Nothing. Just come on. Let's go to the beach. Are you really going to take us, guys? Come on. Yay, guys. We're finally at the beach. And there's the ocean. Wait, Cody, is that where your mom was born? What? Uh, she was born in the ocean because she's a whale. Uh, God, Junior. Do the whale call. Do it, dude. Moo. Moo. I'm not doing that, oh, wait, wait, Junior. That's the cow because your mom's a cow, too. Yeah, I got it. Uh, Joseph, let's go make a sandcastle. All right, dude. Let's go. All right, Ken. Come on. Let's go work on your bod. Well, I'm going to go and look for the horse. So, Joseph, do you know how to make a sandcastle? Of course, dude. All you have to do is put the sand in the bucket. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to dig a grave for our YouTube channel because it's basically dead. Oh, okay, dude. Do that. <laughs> I need a pretty big grave. Yes. A huge that, one, dude. Yeah, that channel's dead AF. Oh, man. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Where's Cody? Uh, I don't know. He was just here. Oh, uh, hold on. I'm, I'm going to get him so he can help us with the sandcastle. Yeah, do that, dude. Yeah, isn't the beach romantic, Ken? The sun glistening off your moist biceps. Uh, oh, oh, what's that? Oh, you, you don't want to get a sunburn on that tight tush of yours? Okay, I'll go get the sunscreen. All right, Ken, I got the rubber fist and I got the sunscreen. Now let me lather you up. <laughs> Hold on, Ken, it's not coming out. Almost there. Uh, hell yeah. Oh, God. Cody, what are you doing? Uh, uh, I, 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 Ken, Ken needed some sunscreen and the bottle broke. So that that's what happened. The bottle broke? Yeah, a, a lot. Well, 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 come on. We're making a sandcastle. Uh, uh, okay, I, I just I just have to do something with the rubber fist real quick. Well, no, no, no. We got to go make a sandcastle. Come on, Cody. Okay. And done. Whoa, Joseph, you already done with the sandcastle? Yeah, dude. I'm a pro at making sandcastles. Okay, great. We're done with the sandcastle. Can I go finish on Ken now? Cody, stop worrying about your stupid doll and hang out with your best bugs. Yeah. But, Junior, I already got the rubber fist out and everything. But, Cody, you already put sunscreen on him. You have to do anything else. Well, I still have to put sunscreen on me. If I come home with a sunburn, my parents are going to know I was at the beach and I'll get in trouble. Hey, Junior, you want to see a hammerhead shark? A hammerhead shark? Yeah, what's it look like? Oh, I'll show you. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chef, you destroyed our sandcastle. 
sandcastle! Look, it was a stupid sandcastle anyway! Ugh. Which is not cool, peepers! Oh my god, what are we gonna do to destroy our sandcastle? I know! Oh, we need to pay him back, dude! Uh, okay, okay. Come on, my sandcastle! Oh, okay, okay, we need to get paid back on Chef Pee Um, What if we buried him in the sand? Dude, that would be perfect! He yeah. deserves to be buried! Yeah, 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 we were buried in the sand because he destroyed our sandcastle, so it'll make the sand pay him back! Yeah! Now let's go bury him! <laughs> Come on, Pee Pee! Let's get you nice and dark! Because the ladies love the dark Pee Pee! Mm. 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 Chef Pee Pee, uh, can we bury you in the sand? No, Junior, I'm trying to get a tan. Well, but Chef Pee Pee, we really want to bury you in the sand. It'll be really fun. I just want to take a quick picture, and then we'll get you out of the sand. Why can't I just relax? Chef Pee Pee, please, please, please. Look, look, I'll play along. God, come oh. on. All right, guys, come on. <sighs> okay, Chef Pee Pee, you're buried in the sand, so let me get my quick picture. All right, hurry up and take your stupid picture so I can get out of the sand. Okay, I got the picture, Chef Pee Pee, so we're going to leave you buried in the sand because you destroyed our sand castle. Wait. Come on, guys, let's go home. Wait, wait, what? You gotta be kidding, Junior! Come back here, Junior! Come get me out of the sand, you stupid bastard! Junior, the tide's coming! No! <laughs> yeah, that'll teach Chef Pee Pee for destroying our sand castle. <laughs> yeah, dude! But guys, shouldn't we go back and help Chef Pee Pee? I mean, what if the tide comes in and he drowns? Uh, Cody, why do you look like a tomato? <laughs> why, because I'm so ripe and juicy? No, I mean, you look like a stop sign. <laughs> oh, oh, because people stop and look at my hunky bod. No, I mean, you look like an apple. Uh, oh, because you want to put your worm inside me? Uh, I think he has a sunburn, Junior. Yeah, yeah, you look like you have a sunburn, Cody. Oh, a sunburn? Because <laughs> I'm as hot as the sun? Uh, wait, did you say sunburn? Yeah, Cody, you look like you have a really bad sunburn. Yeah, uh, dude. Look, you guys, I, I, I can't have a sunburn. If my parents see that I have a sunburn, they'll know that I went to the beach and I'll be grounded. Well, why didn't you put on sunscreen, you big dork? I was going to, Junior, but you guys distracted me with the sandcastle. Okay, there's no way you have a sunburn because we were only out there for like five minutes. Well, guys, I have really fair skin. It's really soft, like Ken's behind. Well, then why doesn't Ken have a sunburn? Because I was covering him in sunscreen, and it should have been something else. Okay, well, look, if you have a, if you have a sunburn, why don't we try to cure it? Like, uh, uh ooh, ooh, aren't you supposed to pee on it? No, Junior, that's for jellyfish stings. Well, I mean, I could pee on it. Well, I mean, I, I guess we could try it. Like, if you really want to pee on it, I... Well, well, let me call a doctor real quick and see if there's a faster way to cure it because I don't want you getting grounded because we're supposed to hang out all weekend. Okay. Hey, you guys called the doctor? Well, you see, doctor, my friend has a really bad sunburn and we need to know if we should pee on his face or not. I, I don't even think it's a question, really. I, I mean, I think you guys should all just pee on me. Just get in, like, a circle around me and all three just, like, pee right on my face. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know that that would help for a sunburn, but, uh, you could try filling a bathtub full of oatmeal. Wait, full of oatmeal? Wait, filling a bathtub full of oatmeal helped a sunburn? No, no, it, it would just be a waste of oatmeal. You see, see, I hate oatmeal, because that's all I can eat, because I don't have teeth, see? Ah. Uh... Oh, well, is there a way to cure his sunburn right now? Uh, I can't think of any way to cure a sunburn right now. Well, we have to cure it right now because if his mom sees his sunburn, she's going to ground him because he, she, she told him he can't go to the beach. And if he has a sunburn, that obviously means he went to the beach. Wow, your mom won't let you go to the beach? What a square. Yeah, she is a square. She's a big, fat... Well, actually, she's not a square. She's a circle because she's, she's so fat and big. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she sounds like it. Uh, but I can't really think of any way to cure it, so I guess just don't go home. I mean, that's what I would do. Whenever I have a hickey on my neck and I don't want my wife to see it, I just don't go home until I'm working overtime or something. Yeah. Uh, so I can't really think of anything else. Just wait it out here. Uh, but, uh, don't touch him. It, it would hurt a lot. Wait, wait, don't touch him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, see, with this sunburn, as bad as it is, a any little touch to his skin is gonna hurt. You know, so even just, like, a slight little poke on the face, that would, that would hurt really, really bad. So, so just, just make sure you don't do that. Just don't, don't poke him or touch him or anything like that. Especially, especially not while I'm here, because I, I don't want to like, I don't want to see that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want you to, to do that here in front of me right now. I, I wouldn't. Are you gonna poke him or what? You, you, you should poke him. Are, are you gonna? Oh, okay. You just poke. Ow, ow, Junior! Ow! God, that hurts. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Wait, really? Like little small touches will hurt you? Yes, Junior. Ow, 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 stop! Hey, ow, 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 Junior, this burns! <laughs> Oh, okay, Cody, I'm done, I'm done. No, I'm not. Ow, stop, you stop doing that. Okay, Cody, look, look, look. Just don't go home and your parents won't see that you uh, got a sunburn. Yeah, I guess I could just tell her that I'm staying here for tonight. Well, that sucks, Cody, because I called her like five minutes ago and told her that uh, that she needs to come over. What, what? Junior, why would you do that? Because I saw the plot was kind of died down, so I was like, let me call her and get her over here so she can see your sunburn. Junior, she's going to see my sunburn and I'm going to get grounded. Well, look, I was going to call the doctor and I said, I'm going to call his mom and tell her to come over. Well, Junior, now she's going to find out that I have a sunburn. Well, look, I got an idea. Why don't I just dress up like you, and when she gets here, I'll pretend to be you. <sighs> Junior, that's never going to work. Your biceps are way too small. She's going to know it's not me. And where's your package? You're not endowed at all. Well, well I mean... Uh, uh... 
Uh, uh, Cody, that's her, so you better make a decision. Do you want me to be you or not? Uh, all right, fine. I keep a spare change of clothes here in case I have an accident. Let me just go get it. Okay. Hey, hello. Hey there, Cody. Your friend invited me over, so I brought you medicine, because it's time for you to take it anyway. Wait, Cody, did you gain weight? Uh, I was about to ask you the same thing, but by looking at you, my answer is a yes. Cody, you just look a little bit fatter. Uh, have you looked in the mirror recently? Uh, Cody, I think maybe you should stop eating so much. Uh, I feel like you hear that more than I do. Uh, Cody, I think maybe you should stop putting all that food on your doll. You're always putting whipped cream and chocolate sauce on there and eating it off, and I think it's bad for you. Well, I think you going to the buffet every night's bad for you, but you still do it. Oh, Cody, let me come in and let me give you your medicine. Okay, Cody, it's time to take your medicines. Uh, okay, ma'am. Wait, wait. Those are some pretty big pills. I don't think I'm able to swallow those. A swallow? <laughs> you silly goose. These pills go in your butt. What? My butt? Those aren't going to my butt. I'm not putting those in my butt. <laughs> well, of course you are, Cody. We do this every day. Well, not today, because I'm not taking them anymore. What? Cody, what's wrong? Usually you love this. It's your favorite part of the day. Well, no, you got it wrong. It's actually my worst part of the day, because I'm not doing it. But, but Cody, usually you're jumping up and down on these balls. Well, I don't want to take them, and I'm not taking them. Now, Cody, you know what the doctor said. You have to take these balls, or else your eyes are going to bleed. Well, I guess my eyes are going to bleed, because I'm not putting those in my butt. Cody, take your butt balls, or I'm going to have to take Ken away from you. Well, I don't even like Ken anymore, so you take them. I'm not taking these. Cody, don't make Mommy mad. You know what happens when Mommy gets mad. What, you go eat at a buffet or something? Look, I I'm not taking these pills in my butt. Cody, take your butt balls. No! Take your butt balls, Cody. Never! Cody, take your butt balls or I'm gonna spit on you. Wait, spit on me? Put, wait, wait, put, uh, Cody, take your balls. Put, uh, put, what, what's put, wrong with you? Put, Cody, take your butt balls right now. Put, what, are you, what, are you put, spitting on me? Put, Cody, take your balls. I'm not Cody. What? I'm not Cody. I'm Junior. What? I'm dressed up like Cody. I'm not, why are you spitting on me? You're gross. What, where's Cody? He's hiding from you because he, he got a sunburn because he went to the beach today and he didn't want you to find out because he didn't want to get grounded. So go spit on him. What? Cody, you get out here right now! Uh, hey, hey, Mom. What? Cody, why are you so sunburned? Because I went to the beach. <gasps> Cody, why would you go to the beach? You know that there was a sponge that lives in the ocean and a pineapple. What if he killed you and turned you into Cody Patties for that greedy little crab man? But, Mom, that's SpongeBob. Still, Cody, you know the beach is dangerous. <sighs> Cody, I'm gonna have to ground you. <sighs> I, I understand. Now let's go home and take your butt balls. Butt balls? <laughs> I thought I was grounded. <laughs> Alright, come on, Ken. Let's do some butt balls. Uh, thank God she's gone, Joseph. She was spitting on me. Spitting on you, dude? Yeah. Oh, man. My mom used to do that to me. W wow. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's watch some TV. <sighs> Breaking news, guy. A man has drowned at the beach after being buried in the sand. More on the story as it develops. You, you think Chef Pee Pee's fine? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure Chef Pee Pee's fine, dude. Chef Pee Pee's awesome. Yeah, he's fine. He, he's fine. Ugh, Marvin, it's so hot. The AC's broken. It's like 100 degrees in here. Hey, Jeffy. Huh? Can you blow me? I know what? Like with a fan. Oh, you should have just said that, Daddy. Oh, that feels so good. Hey, I want some. Oh, uh, so much better. Jeffy, blow me again. Stop saying that, Dan. It's weird. Hey, no, come back. Mommy, look, it's hot in here. You should probably just take your clothes off. Well, ew, Jeffy, she's your mother. Stepmother, and I've seen plenty of videos where stepsons eat their stepmom's fish biscuit. What? Jeffy, that's gross. Get out of here. All right. Marvin, you need to call an AC repairman. But that's going to cost money. But it'll be worth it. Okay, I'll call one and see if he can do it cheap. A few moments later. Hey there, thanks for calling Expensive AC Repair Services. Marvin, you called Expensive AC Repair Services? Well, I tried calling Super Cheap AC Repair Services, but they didn't answer. Yeah, I never answer that phone. What? Anyway, what's the problem? Well, our AC is broken, I think. Oh, that sounds expensive. Yeah, I guess I can get my ladder out and go look at it, but it's gonna cost you. How much? How much you got? Baby, how much do I have in my wallet? Uh... Um, about $94. Oh, that's crazy, because that's exactly how much I charge to get my ladder out and look at your AC unit. Okay, here you go. Ooh, it is hot in here. This cash is cool. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, let me go get my ladder and I'll take a look at it. Okay, time to figure out what's wrong with the AC so I can charge them more money. Okay, let's see what's wrong with this AC. What? Haunted toys do not touch. Okay, not touching that. Let's see here. Oh. Well, the AC's not broken. It just got turned off. All you have to do is turn it on. 
but then I can't charge them a bunch of money. <laughs> okay, I know. I'll go downstairs and tell them that the whole AC unit is completely destroyed, and that it's going to be really expensive to fix, and then I'll come back up here, just play on my phone for like an hour, and then turn it on and tell them I fixed it. <laughs> yeah! Oh man, it is it is just a train wreck up there. So it's broken? Oh, broken's not even the right word. I would say destroyed, demolished, pillaged, savaged, desolated even. So it's broken? Yeah, it's broken, yeah. What happened to it? Oh, I can't even imagine what could have caused such destruction. Was your house struck by lightning and a tornado a hundred times? I don't think so. Well, I mean, it is on fire. What, fire? Yeah, and it's flooding at the same time. I don't even know how, it's crazy. Flooding with what? W with shit from the sewer, because I guess your sewer got mixed up, so whenever you flush the Toilet shit comes out of your AC. Oh, oh, well, can I go up there and look? No, 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 don't do that, because it's also spraying asbestos and, and carbon monoxide. It's very dangerous. Well, okay, well, then how are you going up there? I, I had a hazmat suit, but I took it off because it was itchy from all the asbestos. Well, can you fix it? Oh, I can, but it's going to be really expensive. Like how much? Oh, like, like $5,000 cash. We don't have $5,000 cash. Well, I guess I could do it for $3,000 cash. I don't think we have $3,000 either. Well, how much cash do you have? Baby, how much cash do we have if you went in your purse and, like, checked the safe in the room? Um, maybe, like, $500? Well, I guess I could do it for $500 cash, as long as it was cash. Wait, how can you go from $5,000 to $500? Well, I just feel so bad, because you're living with a hazard. You know, it's dangerous, so I gotta take care of it. So, yeah, I'll do it for $500, as long as it's cash. Baby, get the money. Okay. Yeah, thank you for doing this for us. Here you go. No problem. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is great. Okay, so I'm gonna go work on that. Just don't check on me, okay? It's very, very dangerous. Uh, by the way, do you have a phone charger? What do you need a phone charger for? Uh, my phone's dying, and I really wanted to listen to some tunes while I work. You know, that's what I call Music 86. It's too much trouble to go find new music, so I let them bring the music to me, you know? That's what they call music, that's what I call music. That's what I always say. Okay, I'm gonna go get to work. Just don't come up there, okay? It's too dangerous. Meanwhile... Oh, what is that? It's a stairway leading right to the attic! I bet my daddy's hiding my Christmas presents up there. I'm gonna go check it out. Oh, it's snowing up here? The North Pole's in my attic? Santa Claus lives in my attic? Wow, I can't believe I'm in Santa's workshop. <gasps> Haunted toys? Do not touch! These must be special toys that Santa Claus made that he doesn't want anyone to play with. Well, I'm gonna go play with them. <laughs> Alright, let's check out these haunted toys. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear? Let's see if he can fly. <laughs> Woody was right! He's not even a flying toy! Alright, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, what is this thing? Interesting. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, an ABC board? It'll help me learn my ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Ooh, and what is this? Looks like a magnifying glass so I can see the letters better. <gasps> and it says yes or no? Maybe I can ask it a question and it'll tell me. Um, ABC board, am I gonna get fat hose? <gasps> it said yes! Yay, I'm gonna get fat hose! Thank you, ABC board! Now open your mouth. Open my mouth? Why? Just do it. Okay. Uh... Ugh, Marvin, it's so hot up here. Can we go downstairs? But baby, the AC's broken. It's gonna be hot everywhere. But it's hotter upstairs because heat rises. Well, if heat rises, then my wiener has heat. What? It, it rises when I see... Whatever, let's just go downstairs and make some dinner. Okay. All right, baby, for dinner, me and you are gonna have a mashed potato bowl. Ooh, yum! And Jeffy's gonna eat green beans. Jeffy, dinner's ready! What do you want, old man? Marvin, why does Jeffy look like that? Jeffy, did you call yourself green with a sharpie? No, I've been possessed by a demon. <laughs> okay, demon, eat your green beans. How about I just piss? <laughs> Jeffy, stop peeing! What's wrong, old man? You don't like piss? Stop it, Jeffy! Marvin, why? Jeffy in a dress! You're worried about the dress and not the pee! Oh, okay, good. He, he's stopping. <laughs> Just kidding, more piss! Oh my god, Jeffy, stop peeing on the table! You're, you're peeing everywhere! Oh, I'm sorry, am I pissing you off? Jeffy, stop it! Alright, I'm done. But Jeffy, just go to your room! Alright. Oh my god, he, he peed all over the table, baby! What, what is wrong with him? It's disgusting! <laughs> Jeffy, you are so grounded! <laughs> He got the one! He threw up everywhere! Marvin, I think he's really sick! We need to call a doctor! The AC 
emergency guy. He's a doctor. Let's go get him. <laughs> Die, pigs. Hey. Hey, hey, what how did you get up here? Wait, uh, are you playing Angry Birds? Yeah, yeah. I I I just I just finished fixing your AC. I I did. I also killed those pigs. You got you got three stars. Well, thank you. Yeah, I did. I did. But was my AC even broken? Oh yeah, it was super broken. I just fixed it. That's that's why I have this screwdriver here. You see, because it was it was this screw. It was loose, and that that's what caused the whole thing. You know. So one screw being loose caused it to flood and catch on fire. Oh yeah, you'd you'd be surprised what a screw can do. <laughs> it can really screw things up. You get it? It's an AC repairman joke. You probably don't get it. Well, like, you're a doctor, right? Yeah. Oh, look, my son's really sick. Can you come check him out? How much cash you got? I don't got any more cash, but do me a favor. Eh, I guess you're right. I've screwed you over enough today. <laughs> that was another one. Come on. Okay. Okay, my son's in here. Well, I put my doctor outfit on. I put down towels because of the throw up. Ew, he's throwing up. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Well, why is his head spinning around like that? Well, he's not sick, you guys. He's possessed. But possessed? Yeah, by a demon. Well, so what do we do? Well, you call an exorcist. Wait, isn't he an exorcist? No, no, no. He needs an exorcist. See, an exorcist performs an exorcism to exorcise a demon. Okay, so I call an exorcist. Yeah. Okay, uh, do you think there's anyone around here? Hmm, try Googling expensive exorcist. Okay, I'll see if there's a cheap one. Okay, I found a phone number for a place called Cheap Exorcism Services. Oh, I, I wouldn't call them. Shh, it's ringing. Uh, that, that's, that's probably my mom calling. I don't answer her. Well, it's kind of weird that while I'm calling this number, your phone's ringing. I mean, it is a coincidence, but if you think about it, there's 13.5 billion phone calls happening in the world every day, so it's not that much of a coincidence that my phone would be ringing while you're calling somebody. 13.5 billion phone calls? Yeah, it's true. Look it up. It's gonna go to voicemail. Thank you for calling Cheap Exorcism Services. Since we didn't answer our phone, maybe you should try calling Expensive Exorcism Services. They always answer their phone. <sighs> What'd it say? It said to call Expensive Exorcism Services. Yeah, you should do that. Okay, I'm calling them. Oh, hey, my phone's ringing. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Hello, Expensive Exorcism Services. Oh, wait, that's me! And yes, I will do your exorcism for you. How much cash you got? Wait, just go get your outfit! Okay. Okay, I got my outfit on. Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Ow! No throwing toy arms! <laughs> no throwing demon arms either! Father, help him! Yeah, help me, Daddy. Hold on, I got some holy water over here. I mean, it's just Fiji water, but holy cow, is it good. The power of Christ oh, compels you! Melting. The power of Christ compels you! God melting. No, that, that's from Wizard of Oz. Nice try. <laughs> Look, the holy water's not working, but I've seen the movie. I know what to do. Hey, demon, possess me instead! Open your mouth. Okay. Uh, <laughs> possess Buzz Lightyear! <laughs> I trapped him in this Buzz Lightyear toy! I am Mrs. Nesbitt. Now all, now all I have to do is throw him down the stairs to kill him. Take this, Demon Lightyear, to infinity and hell! I am Buzz Lightyear! Okay, I threw Buzz Lightyear down the stairs. As long as nobody touches him, we'll be fine. Jeffy, are you okay? Oh, my head hurts. Yeah, that's a side effect of being possessed by a demon. I was possessed by a demon? Yeah, but I took care of it. So where's the cash? Give me a thousand dollars. It's not called expensive exorcism services for no reason. We don't have a thousand dollars. Oh yeah? Well, guess what? Your AC wasn't even broken. It was just turned off. All I did was turn it on and then play Angry Birds on my phone. So, eh. <sighs> Jeffy, how are you feeling? Who wants to watch me piss? <sighs> All right, Crass, today we're going to be doing another show and tell. So hopefully you brought something cool to show to Crass. What'd you bring for show and tell, Cody? I brought my violin. I learned how to play Star Wars on it. That's so cool. What'd you bring, Joseph? I brought a wash. What, Joseph, why would you bring a wash? Why wouldn't I bring a wash, Cody? What if it stings you? It's not going to sting me. It's my pet, duh. It's not your pet. Then why is it in this cup, huh? Well, because you trapped it in there. Guys, look what I brought for show and tell. I brought a never-before-opened Hey Arnold toy. Oh, dude, that's super cool. Yeah, I guess that's kind of cool. You know how hard it is not to open up a Hey Arnold toy for years, Cody? Not, not that hard. What'd you bring, Penelope? I brought my Princess Piggy Bank. It has $45 in it. Well, I'll give you my Hey Arnold toy for the $45. No, Junior. Oh, I'm so mad at Penelope for not giving me that money. All right, Jeffy. You come up here and show and tell first. Ooga booga booga booga! Don't be scared. It's just me. This is a lion mask that I found. Very scary, Jeffy. You can go back to your seat. All right, Penelope, it's your turn. I can't wait to show everyone my piggy bank. 
Jeffy, you broke my piggy bank. You're going to have to pay for that. Well, I'm a geek cat. I don't have any money. Ha <laughs> ha, Penelope. That's what you get for not buying my Hey Arnold toy. Shut up, Junior. All right, you two. Settle down. Go back to your seats. All right, Cody. You come up and present next. Hell yeah. You guys ready for your ears to explode from greatness? <laughs> Okay, everybody, I'm going to be playing the intro song from Star Wars. You know, the one that goes like, da na 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 you know, you know that one? Okay, here we go. Ugh, I didn't even get to do my show and tell. Because you didn't buy my Hey Arnold toy for $45. Oh, go cry about it, Junior. Go cry about it? Bitch. Joseph! What's up, dude? I will give you my Hey Arnold toy if you put that wasp down the back of her shirt. Oh, say less. I was eyeing the Hey Arnold toy since you showed me, dude. <laughs> Alright, dude, I put it down the shirt. Here you go. Yes! Hey, Penelope, how you feeling? Fine. Wait, there's there's something crawling on my stomach! It's a wasp! <laughs> Oh, thank you for cheering, Penelope. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Penelope, why are you creaming? Probably because she enjoys my beautiful music. Teacher, I just got stung by a wasp and I'm allergic. Now my stomach's all bloated. Well, maybe you're pregnant, Penelope. Shut up, Junior. Maybe Jeffy got you pregnant when he ran into you. <gasps> I got Penelope pregnant? Hey, Daddy. What's wrong, Jeffy? Did your classmates not like your lion mask? No, they did. Then why the long face? Because my mommy drank when she was pregnant with me. No, I meant why are you sad? I'm afraid to tell you. Jeffy, we're your parents. You can tell us anything. Yeah, Jeffy. You promise you won't get mad? Well, I gotta know what it is first. And you promise to take me to Disney World so I can get over it? How bad is it, Jeffy? Oh, it's really bad. Like, so bad. Like, the worst thing ever. My life is over. Did you kill someone? Well, not yet. I mean, she gets to make that decision later on down the line. You know, her body, her choice. What are you talking about, Jeffy? I got a girl pregnant. What? Jeffy! You got a girl pregnant, Jeffy! Why would you do that? Well, hey, it's not my fault. Oh, it is your fault, Jeffy. You're the one who did it. Well, I ran into her and I busted her pink piggy open and then she asked me to pay for it. She asked you to pay for it? Yeah. Oh, my God, baby. Jeffy got caught up in some weird money situation. <laughs> baby, Jeffy, are you sure she's pregnant? Yeah, her belly's already big. Well, Jeffy, why didn't you tell us sooner? Well, I just found out today. Oh, my God. Are you sure it's yours? Yeah, I mean, I did bust that pink piggy wide open, Daddy. Like, it made a mess. It was all over the garbage. Ew, Jeffy! Well, where'd you even do this at, Jeffy? In the classroom. Oh, Jeffy, you're sick. You are sick, Jeffy. Why would you do that? Well, it was an accident. I hope it was an accident. I hope you didn't plan on doing this, Jeffy. Well, yeah, it was the first time I ran into her. Oh, my God, Jeffy, you're supposed to get the nose on before you do that. Oh, my God, baby, what do we do? We need to call a doctor. Well, there's always plan B. Jeffy, it's too late for that. Her belly's already big. Well, plan B as in push her down the stairs. That's not a bad idea. Marvin! No, baby, it looks like Jeffy's too young to have a kid. He can't raise a kid. Marvin! Okay. Fine, we'll call a doctor and ask him what stairs he recommends pushing her down. Hey Leah, somebody call a doctor? Yeah, doctor, we're not doing so good. Yeah, me neither, man. This economy, am I right? Ugh, I am barely scraping by. I don't even know if I can afford to keep the lights on next month. My panic attacks keep me up at night. No, I'm talking about Jeffy got someone pregnant. Oh, congratulations. Is it a boy or a girl? I got a girl pregnant. But no, I mean, is the baby a boy or a girl? We don't know yet. We'll let it decide when it gets older. But hopefully it identifies as dead soon. But, okay, so what do you need me for? Listen, doctor, he got a girl pregnant and he hasn't told us who she is yet, but we're just scared. What do we do? Well, Sasquatch probably went back into the woods. What? Well, I mean, no offense to Jeffy, but she had to be pretty hideous if she was willing to bang him. I mean, my daughter would never. She's a straight-A student, and she has respect for herself. What would you do if your daughter got pregnant? Well, I'd probably kill her. Strangle her, actually. Yeah, you know, hold her underwater in the bathtub for about three minutes? That ought to do it. Yeah. But I don't have to worry about that, because she is perfect. Actually, I don't even think she likes boys. Between me and you, I think she prefers runch and mug, if you know what I mean. Well, listen, we just don't know what to do. We've never dealt with a situation like this before. Well, I would suggest calling her over here and having her take a pregnancy test to see if she's even pregnant. I don't want to ask a girl to take a pregnancy test. That's weird. Yeah, we wouldn't want that. How about this? How about I hide behind the couch and you call her over, and then when she gets here, I jump out and scare her so she pees a little bit, because I'm pretty scary, and then I'll catch some of that pee with a pregnancy test, and then we'll know if she's pregnant or not. You're not scary. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm not really the- ah! Ha! See? I'm scary. You jumped. Yeah, you are pretty scary. I like your plan more than just asking her to take a pregnancy test. Yeah. Well, we already know she's pregnant because her belly is big. Listen, I'm sure she's f***ing huge. That doesn't mean she's pregnant. You know, Olga's can get pretty big. I mean, I bet she looks like Fiona from Shrek, you know, after sundown.
but you should call her over here because I don't want to have to go to her swamp. Okay, yeah, Jeffy, you go get the girl. You hide behind the couch. Okay, I'll do that. All right, guys, she's right there. So you're the girl who's causing all these problems. Look, I just want my money. <gasps> have some dignity, young lady. I want my $45. $45? That's all she charged you? Hey, I worked hard for that. Yeah, I'm sure you did work hard with all that nasty stuff you did to Jeffy. How often do you do stuff like this? Do what? You know, bust your piggy open. That was my first time, and it was really embarrassing. I couldn't even show off my piggy for show and tell. You were going to show off your piggy for show and tell? Your father must be ashamed. I'm so glad we're trying to get rid of it. Get rid of what? You know, will, will you get rid of it? Get rid of what? I just want my money. If we give you the $45, will you do what we want? Um, yeah, sure. Okay, I'll give her the $45. I got 50 I got 100 in my wallet. Okay, yeah, deal. All right, Brooklyn guy, you can come on out. She just wants money. <laughs> well, Marvin, I heard the whole thing. She sounds like a real gold digger. Oh, hey, Penelope, what are you doing here? Wait, Marvin, where'd the girl go? I want to show my daughter what a real slut looks like. Uh, she is the girl. <laughs> Penelope, you hussy! What? You're the girl who busted a piggy open? Yeah, I accidentally ran into Jeffy and he busted it open. Oh, this is a parent's worst nightmare. I thought I raised you better than that. And why are you charging money for it? Because he busted my piggy open! Oh, sweet Jesus. I shattered her piggy. You mother or I'll kill you! Hey, 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 stop fighting, stop fighting. We can't change what happened. It already happened. Yeah, I guess you're right. It was an accident, right, Jeffy? Yeah. And I've had plenty of accidents, too. I mean, that's how Penelope was born. What? What? Listen, she said she'll get rid of it for $45. Get rid of what? Oh, you're getting rid of it, young lady. There's no way you're ready for that. What are you talking about? Oh, don't even try to hide it. Your stomach is huge. Oh, that? Yeah, I want to get rid of that. Oh, thank God. I was going to come to you for help as a doctor. Oh, good, because there's like there's some stairs over there, so I could just give you a knuckle sandwich right in the stomach. Um, isn't that going to make it worse? I mean, yeah, it's going to hurt. It's not going to be fun. But then again, you already had your fun, didn't you? I didn't have fun with this. It was a really mean prank all all the boys at school played on me. Everyone was in on it, and it hurt and stung. Oh, bee needle dick. I'll kill you. Oh, okay, I, 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 I said no fighting. Listen, she said she's willing to do a solution, so you just gotta find out which one she wants to do. Okay, yeah. Penelope, how do you want to get rid of it? I don't know. Like, a shot? Ooh, a shot, a shot. Yeah, that's that's the best way of doing it. Um, I keep my shots over here, by the stairs. Okay. All right, Dad, where's the shot? Here's a shot. Right in the gut. <laughs> Okay, I think that might have done it. How's your stomach feel? It hurts, but it hurt before, too. Hmm, I think we need to go to the top of the stairs and do it a few more times. How is that going to help my wasp sting? I'm sorry, you what? I got stung by a wasp on the stomach. Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me you didn't get pregnant? What? Ew, no, Dad. But, but what about your piggy getting busted open? I brought my piggy bank for show and tell, and Jeffy knocked into me, and it shattered on the floor. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, I am so happy. What the hell did you think happened? Uh, uh, nothing, nothing. Just keep your pure, innocent mind pure and innocent. Look, look, you just go home, and I will go upstairs and explain to those nice people what happened. Okay. Whew. Good news, everyone. Is it dead? Well, technically. Shibby! Well, not even shibby, because it turns out she wasn't pregnant to begin with. Oh, thank God. Woohoo! Pull out Game Strong is full. Well, no, not even that, because it turns out she and Jeffy didn't even do anything. But what about all the bust and the piggy stuff? Oh, well, she brought her piggy bank to school for show and tell, and Jeffy just accidentally broke it. Then why was her stomach so big? Oh, uh, she gets stung on the stomach by a wasp, and she's really allergic to wasps. That's why it swelled up so much. Well, Jeffy, why did you think you got her pregnant? Because I ran into her, and then everyone said she was pregnant. But that's not where babies come from. Yeah, this whole thing, let's just be happy that it was a big misunderstanding. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep, just a big misunderstanding. Big misunderstanding. Big misunderstanding. Yep. Misunderstanding. Yep. That's a big yep. misunderstanding. Yep. Good, yep. happy ending. Yes, a big yes, misunderstanding. Yes, 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 Okay, I'm gonna go. Can we go to Disney World? Yay! You ain't take me to Disney World! I put my old pants, I did it white. It's running up. You gotta be late for school. Baby, have you seen my car keys? No, Marvin. Looking for these, Daddy? Jeffy, give me my car keys. Ha ha, you're sure. Give them to me, Jeffy. Oh, what well, Jeffy spit them out, spit them out right now. Mm -hmm. uh... well, Jeffy, you swallowed my car keys. Well, now I don't have to go to school. Oh, you're going to school, Jeffy. Marvin, why doesn't he just take the bus? It's already late. He already missed the bus. Well, it looks like I need to stay home from school. No, Jeffy, because you have a car, so we're going to drive you in your car. Not if I can swallow the keys first. Oh, no, Jeffy! <laughs> Jeffy, you are going to school. Come on, right now. Oh, man. <sighs> Jeffy, get in the car. No, have to. Yes, have to. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you don't get in the car, you're grounded. Oh. 
All right, Jeffy, put your seatbelt on. Can we bum some tunes so the hoes know I'm coming? Seatbelt now! Jesus! All right, Jeffy, let me know when it's safe to go. I don't want to get in a car accident. Oh, you're good for days. I'm in so much pain, Jeffy. I think my arm's broken. Oh my god, Marvin, what happened to you two? I trusted Jeffy. Oh, Danny, you totally had it. You were just too slow. Okay, you two. You're lucky to be alive. And you, you should have your driver's license revoked. Who pulls out in front of cars like that? My son told me there were no cars coming. And you believed him? What, you couldn't take the two seconds to just look? You know, you had mirrors for a reason. You know, if you had blind spot cameras like my Hyundai Sonata, this never would have happened. Listen, I don't want to get yelled at. I'm in a lot of pain. Danny, you look like you hate towers. How long is the recovery process, doctor? Uh, him, I think he'll probably be fine. Just got a broken arm and a bruised face. But him, oh no, no, this is his life now. I mean, his jaw is broken, his ribs are destroyed. I mean, you could poke him with a pillow and kill him. His eye's kind of hanging out, and his arm has melted to his head from the engine fire. Yeah, he's gonna be like this forever. What, so he had to live his whole life looking like that? Oh, yeah. Unless you hire me as a plastic surgeon. Well, how much would that cost? Uh, about 50 G's. What, $50,000? We don't have that kind of money. Can, can you do it like a favor? No, 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 no. There's no pro bono surgeries here. Except for the girl who came in for a free boob job. That was pro boner. So you're gonna pay me or what? We don't have that kind of money. Then get out of my hospital. Come on, Jeffy. Ow. Go. Ow. Shoot. Ow. Why are you guys staring at me? Well, Jeffy, we're just concerned because why do you look like that? Because I got in a car accident. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jeffy. Do you want some of my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week? No, I don't think I can eat because my esophagus is closed up. All right, before we start class today, I wanted to remind everyone that tomorrow is picture day. So make sure you rook your best. These pictures are going to be in the yearbook for years and years, and you don't want people to look back and be like, damn, he ugly. So, any questions? Yes, Jeffy? What's your question? I don't have a question. Well, then don't put your hand up if you don't have a question. Put your arm down. My arm is stuck to my face because I got into a car accident. Oh, you are ugly as shit. Go to the principal's office right now. You are way too ugly for me to look at. <laughs> yeah, bye, freak. Hey, my arm may be stuck to my face, but I can still whoop your ass. So shut it. Cross, if you look like that, you better do something to fix yourself by tomorrow. Oh, man, I'm in so much pain. Well, you need to drive more careful next time, Marvin. I was driving careful. Jeffy said there were no cars coming. Hey, Dang. What, Jeffy? What are you doing home so early? You're supposed to be at school. The teacher said I was too ugly to look at. <laughs> That's horrible, Jeffy. You're still our handsome little boy. I am? Yes, Jeffy. Well, picture day's tomorrow. Oh, dear God, no. Well, Jeffy, you can't go to picture day looking like that. You guys just said I was your handsome boy. Well, Mommy, lie. Your face looks really bad. You look like something out of a scary movie. We need to get your face fixed or something. But Marvin, it costs $50,000. We can't afford that. Well, maybe the doctor will put us on a payment plan. Let me just call the doctor and see what we can do. Hey there, you call a doctor? Oh, hey, it's you guys. You guys finally decided to pay me for plastic surgery? Well, yeah, kind of, because tomorrow's picture day at school. Oh, yeah, I do a lot of business around this time. People want me to fix the ugly. They call me Dr. Ugly Fixer because I fix ugly, as previously implied. Then why haven't you fixed the bald spot on your head? <laughs> I want to fix it, but I can't afford to pay myself. Damn it, if I would just lower my prices. Well, see, that's why we called you, because we can't afford you either. Like, your prices are just too high, and we were wondering if maybe you could put us on a payment plan? But are you... Wow. Are you asking if there's another way you can pay me? Well, is there? I mean, listen. No. What? 
I want cash, okay? I don't care what your wife will do to me. Wait, what? Yeah, I, I, it doesn't matter, because cash doesn't whine and then want to be cuddled afterward. Well, no, 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 listen, we just can't afford that price. Like, maybe we can pay you later, right? Like, like, you could do the surgery now, and then we pay you all that money later? Okay, but if I do the surgery, what if you move away to, like, Antarctica or something, and I never see you again? Then I'm out $50,000. Ooh, ooh, I got an idea. What if you put a tracker in Jeffy's face? Like, when you cut it open to fix it, you put a tracker in there, so if we don't pay, you can track us down. Huh. Okay, yeah, I like that. I'll do the surgery now, and if you don't pay me later, I'll come back with a baseball bat and rough you up a little bit. Uh uh, okay. All right, that sounds good. Uh, hey, you want me to uh, give your wife some bigger cans while we're at it? Uh -huh. Marvin, no! Okay, okay, fine. I'll just do Jeffy. Come on. Okay, I'm done with the surgery. Is Jeffy okay? Oh, yeah, he's never looked better. Are we going to recognize him? Oh, yeah, he's going to be the son you've always wanted. Okay, everybody, say hello to Jeffy. Uh, donkey, give me some cheese cake! Shrek, get out of here. Go, you little uh, rascal. Donkey! Damn ogres. Jeffy, can you just get in here? Hey, no! W Jeffy? Yep, that's him. But what did you do to him? Oh, well, I uh, fixed his teeth. I made his eyes not crooked. I fixed that stupid unibrow. I slicked his hair back, and I gave him some nice clothes. He also added a few extra inches down there, so now I'm rocking a full four inches. Yeah, I did what I could. Oh, yeah, and I also found this in his lower intestine. Those are my car keys. Well, there they are. Well, Jeffy, you do look really good. Yep, that's what I do. And I also put the tracker in his nose, so if you don't pay me, I'm gonna get you. All right, champ, you have fun at picture day. Save some poo-poo for the rest of us. So, Jeffy, how do you feel? I feel constipated, Daddy. Real constipated. The poop troops are stuck in the poop loop. Well, I think you look handsome, Jeffy. Yeah, you need to get some sleep because you have a big day tomorrow with picture day. Can I sleep in this? Yeah, Jeffy, don't take that off. You look really good. I want you to look like that in the picture, so go to bed. Uh -huh. He looks really good. Whoa, Jeffy, looking fine. I got Sharpie. Thanks, Cody. But Jeffy, how do you look so good? Yesterday you were so ugly and now you look so good. I got plastic surgery, Junior. Well, I thought that was just to give girls bigger boobies. No, they do everything, even butt. Oh my god, Jeffy, you look so hot. Thanks. No, like, you look really hot. All right, calm down. You need to get spayed. You're in heat. All right, grass. I hope everyone is ready for picture day. You wouldn't want to take an embarrassing photo. Oh my god, Jeffy, you look so handsome. Thanks, Teach. Oh my god, PJ, you're so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're guapo. I don't know what that means, but I agree. <gasps> Maria, look at that boy over there. Oh, Dios mío, muy caliente, si papi. Let's go over there and talk to him. Wait, wait ladies, where are you going? The bowl of coleslaw is right here. L ladies, what the? That man's jacking my steez. Hey! You're so hot. See, si, see, si, so sexy. Jeffy, give me your number. Ladies, ladies, please. I'm constipated. I'm trying to poop here. Give me some space. Bro, you stole my chicks. That's not very bro-like of you. I never stole these girls. They were never yours in the first place. It was just your turn. Oh, that's it, bro. I'm gonna get revenge. And when PJ gets revenge, things get ugly. Let's kiss him. Ladies, the diarrhea is flowing. Hey, hey, Jeffy, how was picture day? I don't know, you tell me. Check it out. I'm one handsome son of a gun. Aw, look at my handsome baby boy. Be careful with that paper, Mommy, it's wet. Girls have been sitting on it all day, so it's saturated in fish stick juice. Well, you look really good, Jeffy. Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Ah! Ah! Well, it's time to hit the hay, so you pooch moochers behave. It's time for me to get some shut eye. I'm tired of girls kissing on me all day. Time to die, Jeffy. This'll teach you for stealing my girls. Hey, Jeffy! We know! <laughs> your face, Jeffy! Somebody broke inside the house and hit me in the face with a mallet until I was ugly again! But what happened, Jeffy? I literally just said it. But then how did someone beat you in the face till your unibrow grew back? I don't know, but they did it! Alright, I'm here for my money. What, what, why do you have a bat? In case you don't pay up. Uh, uh pay, pay, pay up for what? For the surgery that I did, remember, to make Jeffy- wait, what, why is Jeffy ugly? <laughs> What, he, what do you mean? He'd always been ugly. No, 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 no. I, I gave him plastic surgery to make him handsome. What? 
No, you didn't. What? Y yeah, I did. You guys were in a car accident, and then I did surgery, and I made him handsome. What? But baby, do you, do you remember? Do you remember this this doctor doing surgery? Um, no. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, so if you weren't in a car accident, what happened to you? Uh, I, I fell down the stairs and I dropped the toaster on my head. Yeah, I did that. R really? So, so there was no. Wait, wait, there, there, there were no surgery. Jeffy, close your mouth. What? See, see, look, look, look. He's always looked like that, and today was picture day. So, yeah, no, you must have must no, have had no, a bad. No, no. You must have had a bad dream. No, no, no. This, this can't have been a dream. I remember it. You guys were in a car accident, and then I did surgery. And then Shrek was there. Yeah, this must have been a dream. There's no way Shrek would have been here. That doesn't make any sense. Man, really? This was a dream? Yeah, it must have been a dream. You must be getting old. Oh, man, I'm really sorry for coming in here and threatening you with my stolen Sammy Sosa bat. What? Like, no, this is really stolen. Stolen from Sammy Sosa. Stolen right from his locker. See his name's on it. It's nuts. Anyway, sorry. Oh, that was a close one. Now we don't have to pay him money. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, did you learn your lesson for today? Look both ways. Look both ways. Before, before crossing, crossing the street. The street. Alright, Kraus. Today we're going to be doing a kiss quiz. I'll ask you a question, and the first student to get the answer right will get a Hershey kiss. Uh, when I saw the board say kiss quiz, I thought we were going to practice making out with each other. And Junior was going to be my partner. No, my partner was going to be Penelope. No way, Junior. Dude, we're always partners. What are you talking about? I want to kiss Penelope. Guys, it's not even about kissing. Well, I bet I can answer more questions than you, Penelope. No way, four eyes. But you also wear glasses. Shut up, Kraus. Alright, first question. Who invented the telephone? Alexander Graham Bell! God damn it. Ha! Correct, Penelope. Here's your kiss. I got the first kiss, Cody. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get the next one. Alright, next question, Kras. How many stars are on the original American flag? Thirteen, bitch! Ha ha! Get it! Correct, Cody. Here's your kiss. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> look at my kiss. Oh, let me get in there. Oh. Alright, next question. What was Abraham Lincoln's nickname? Oh, I got this. The Free the Slave Man. No. Honest Abe. That was George Washington. No, that's Honest George. Oh, uh, no, you're thinking of Curious George. Correct, Junior. Here's your kiss. Ooh, a kiss. All right, next question. A few moments later. Man, I have so many kisses. Well, I have more kisses, and some of mine had nuts in them. Mine have nuts, too. Well, I don't have any nuts in mine. Wait a minute, this isn't fair, teacher. I haven't gotten any kisses. All right, Jeffy. Since you don't have a kiss yet, I'll give you a chance to win the last one. And this question is only for you, so you're the only one allowed to answer it. What year did the War of 1812 happen? Now, this is a trick question. What year did the War of 1812 happen? 1812, take away the four, add a six, 2004! Screw it, here you go. Yummy. All right, Kras, that does it for today. Go home and enjoy your kisses. Uh. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Jeffy, how was school? It was great, Daddy. The teacher gave me a kiss right here. What? Yeah, I answered the question right, so he gave me a kiss right here. Marvin, we have to call the cops. Well, hold on, Jeffy. This is a very serious crime you're accusing your teacher of. Are you sure he gave you a kiss? Yeah, he gave me a kiss and he gave everyone else in the class a kiss when they answered the question right. Are there any girls in your class, Jeffy? Yeah, Mommy. This one girl got a bunch of kisses from the teacher. Oh, I'm calling the cops right now. Hold on. Hey there. Somebody call the whoop whoop. That's the sound of the police. We did. Oh, good. So what's going on? Well, we want to report a very serious crime. Oh, no. Is somebody giving away toasters for outrageously low prices? No. Oh, well, my wife says we need a toaster, and I thought maybe you would know where I could get a cheap toaster. Well, my son came home from school today, and he says that his teacher gave him a kiss in his private area. Whoa! Whoa, kid, is this true? Yeah, he gave me a kiss right here! Oh my god, we are dealing with a very serious predator here. Are, are, are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. He gave everyone in the class kisses. Oh, oh my god. Okay, wait, wait, wait a minute. Aren't you in the same class as my daughter? Who's your daughter? Penelope? Oh yeah, she got the most kisses with nuts. Oh, oh, Jesus, oh god. God, no, my poor baby. Uh, it's, it's gonna be okay. Oh, I, I have to go call her. I have to call her. A few moments later. What do you want, Dad? Okay, Penelope, this is very important. Did your teacher give you a kiss in class today? Yeah, he gave me a bunch of them. Oh, oh, God, no, it's true. Oh, okay, that's it. I'm gonna go arrest him right now. Order, 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 order. Today, order. We will be hearing the case of the school teacher, Jackie Chu, who is accused of giving kisses to his students. Ugh. Process.
Sausage, you draw! Tell me what's going on. Order. Well, Your Honor, I'm here today representing all of the kids who got a kiss from the teacher. My daughter is one of them. Penelope, tell the judge what happened to you. Um, well, today in class we had a kiss quiz, and every time we answered a question right, the teacher would give us kisses, oh. and sometimes they had nuts. Oh, oh, God, my poor baby! Oh! Oh, oh Jesus! Oh. Mr. Chu, you are being accused of a most heinous crime. Is any of this accurate to what actually happened? Yes, it is all true. We had a quiz, and if the student answers the question right, I give them a kiss, and sometimes with nuts. You're a monster! Order, 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 order in my court, order! Mr. Chu, you are a very sick man. Now tell me, how many students did he give kisses to? Well, Your Honor, five students so far that we know of! That is a lot of children. Mr. Chu, what made you think it was appropriate to do such a thing to children, causing them years of psychological harm? I thought I would give them an incentive to want to learn, because every time they got the question right, they'd be like, Jackie Chu, give me a kiss, give me a kiss. So I kept giving out kisses, and then sometimes they'd say, give me some with nuts. So then I'd give kisses with nuts in it, and so I just kept giving kisses and nuts. As your attorney, I would advise you to stop talking. Mr. Chu, I am sensing no remorse for your actions. Just handing out kisses as if they were candy. Exactly. Uh, Your Honor, may I have a moment with my client, please? Now listen here, you practically just admitted guilt. We're screwed. But I didn't do anything wrong. All I did was give the kids kisses. The kids like the kisses. Oh, I never should have become a public defender. Mr. Chu, I already know you're guilty. Now I just need to know how guilty. Prosecutor, send in another one of the victims. Uh, Cody, can you come in here, please? Yeah, what's up? Uh, the judge wants to ask you a few questions. Now, young man, how many kisses did you receive from Mr. Chu? Oh, I received a lot of kisses, but that's because I'm smart. I received more kisses than you, Cody. Yeah, well, that's probably because you're a girl and he felt bad for you. Nuh-uh, and at least mine had more nuts. Oh, no, I definitely had more nuts. No, you didn't. Oh, God. Order, 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 order. Mr. Chu, I know this is going to be very graphic to ask, but how did you select which students received nuts with their kiss? It was random, whatever my hand decided to pull out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mr. Chu, I am already planning on giving you the death penalty, but just to be sure beyond a reasonable doubt, Prosecutor, send in one more victim. Jeffy, can you come in here, please? Hey, everybody. What doing? Now, Jeffy, is it true that you received a kiss from Mr. Chu? I did. And how many kisses did you receive? Just one. Hmm. Now, that's interesting. Penelope, you received multiple kisses, right? Yeah. And Cody, you received multiple kisses? Yeah. But, Jeffy, you only received one kiss. Yeah, I think it was a pity kiss because everyone else is smarter than me, and so they were just getting more and more kisses. And so I think the teacher felt bad, so he gave me a kiss. Mr. Chu, we have now heard from three of your victims. Do you feel bad at all for what you've done? No, I don't regret anything. I've been giving the kids in my classes kisses for years. The kids love the kisses. They especially love the kisses with the nuts in it. Big nut kiss. I quit. That's it, Your Honor. Fry this son of a bitch. I don't know what I did wrong. Mr. Chu, you are clearly unable to tell right from wrong since you do not see what you did wrong, and that makes you a danger to society. Prosecutor, let me hear your closing statements before I bang this gavel as hard as I can and yell guilty at the top of my lungs. Your Honor, I'm a father. Not a very good one, but I am a father. So today when my daughter came home from school and said, Daddy, Daddy, I got the most kisses from the teacher. I just couldn't believe it. Well, I don't think that's true. I think I actually get the most kisses. Shut up, Cody! It's not a contest, kids. What happened to you today was wrong. That man is sick. Well, I mean, I guess it wasn't good to have that many kisses before lunch. I thought they were sweet, and at least nuts had protein. Oh, Jesus. Your Honor, we're dealing with some serious Ted Bundy shit. This man is sick, and the fact that he's been doing it for this many years and the kids are just now coming forward, there's no telling how many lives he's ruined. Your Honor, I'm begging you, bang that gavel, bang the shit out of that gavel, and send this man to the electric chair where he belongs. I have had enough! Guilty! 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 Guilty!
true, guilty, that is what you are. I sentence you to death by electric chair. No, by two electric chairs. No, by an entire electric bed with an electric toothbrush before you go to the electric bed. And then electric pillows and electric sheets and an electric bedtime story. Yes, you will be killed by electric bed and bedtime story tomorrow at midnight. Pay-per-view, $49.95. Then all of the money will go to the victims' families. Guilty! Yes! Justice! Honey, we got justice! What the hell is happening? Why is he gonna die for giving us kisses? You're too young to understand, but someday you will. Come on, kids! Oh, no! Come on, you, you monster! Isn't this silly, folks? I was just the lawyer, and now I'm the bailiff. Isn't TV silly? Come on, let's get you to your cell! All right, class, my name is Brooklyn Guy. I'm going to be a new teacher since your last teacher was a monster, and now he's going to die. So I'm going to be teaching you until we can find a better replacement. Are you going to give us kisses when we get questions right? No, 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 kids. What he did to you was wrong, okay? There's not going to be any more kisses. You kids are going to need therapy to get over that. But I see some kisses on the desk right there. What are you talking about? What? Uh, huh. Um, Hershey's kisses? Almond? Oh, no. Oh, no. A, a, a class, well, was your teacher giving you these kisses or kisses with his mouth? The candy, Dad. Yeah, the candy. Yeah, I wish it was with his mouth. Oh, dear God, kids. We're about to kill an innocent man. Uh, I have to go. Any last words before we fry up? I didn't know it was wrong to give kids kisses. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't pull it, don't pull it. Uh, Mr. Chu, I have a question for you. What kind of kisses were you giving the students? Sometimes they had nuts, and sometimes they didn't have nuts. No, no, I know that, but, like, what did the kisses look like? They were little chocolate candies with aluminum foil wrapped around them. Oh, my God. Oh, get him out of there. I'm an idiot. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Danny. I... I am your father. Take that ring off and stop it! Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> why would you do that, Dr. Octopus? Jimmy, why would you hit me with this stupid lightsaber? I didn't hit you with the lightsaber. Spider-Man did. Well, you're Spider-Man, Jeffy. No, I'm not. I'm not wearing the mask. Well, you know what? You can't play with your stupid Spider-Man mask or your stupid lightsaber. How about that? You can't touch it. I told you not to touch it. Don't touch it. I think it's broken, Daddy. It's not broken, Jeffy. I just smacked it. Yeah, you smacked my hand. Then you're going to smack my face. What else are you going to smack, child beater? I'm not a child beater, Jeffy. I just smacked your hand. You are a child beater, and I'm going to call the cops on you. Okay, call them and tell them that I smacked your hand because you were doing what you are not supposed to do. I will. <sighs> Whatever. I'll teach my daddy for hitting me. Oh, please answer. 911, what's your emergency? Oh, yeah, Mr. Police Officer Man, please hurry. My daddy is beating me, and he locked me in a coffin full of rattlesnakes, and he's only feeding me wet toilet paper. Dear God, I'll be there as fast as I can. Please come quick. <laughs> I always do. <laughs> oh, oh, my life is sad. Well, Daddy, I did it. What'd you do? Did you finally poop in the toilet instead of the sink? No. What'd you do, Jeffy? I don't know. <sighs> uh, hello? All right, where's the coffin full of rattlesnakes? What, the what? The coffin full of rattlesnakes that you're keeping your kid in. Where is it? Well, I don't have a coffin full of rattlesnakes. All right, then why are you feeding your kid wet toilet paper? What? I'm not! I got a call from a very scared child who said he was locked in a coffin full of rattlesnakes and that his father was beating him and feeding him wet toilet paper. Okay, that's obviously a lie. I'm not doing that. Why would I lock my kid in a coffin full of rattlesnakes? He's not eating wet toilet paper either. Okay, well I wouldn't be doing my duty as a cop if I didn't go check on it. Oh, he's upstairs on the couch. He's not eating wet toilet paper and he's not in a coffin. Okay, I'm gonna go check. All right, officer, there he is. Daddy, can I please stop eating the toilet paper now? I'm full. Jimmy! Oh, this doesn't look too good for you, buddy. Oh, come on. I didn't do this. He was eating the toilet paper himself. Who would make themselves eat toilet paper? He would. And officer, look. The rattlesnake. Whoa, get back before it bites you. Oh, come on. That's a balloon animal. That is the rare northern South Dakota rattlesnake. It's very poisonous. It could kill 100 men with one bite. It, if it bit all 100 men at the same time. It's got a big fucking mouth. Stand back. Okay, look, come on, officer. This is bullshit. Look, he made himself eat the toilet paper. That's a balloon animal. And if all this is true, then where's the coffin? 
Huh, where is the coffin? Hey kid, where's the coffin? My daddy said we're gonna hide this coffin from the nice police officer man. And he hid it. Oh, that, that, that did not happen. Look, all this started because I slapped my son's hand. Wait, you what? I slapped my son's hand. I took a toy from him, he tried to grab it back, and I slapped his hand. So you're telling me you assaulted your kid? Well, no, I, I just slapped his hand. So he was just playing with his toys and you smacked him? N no, no, I slapped his hand because he was doing something he was not supposed to do. Okay, well let me ask him. Hey kid, what really happened? This is what happened, Mr. Police Officer Man. Hey, Father, today in art class, I drew a picture of me and you being best friends in the park because I love you so much. I didn't raise no pussy. Get over here and give me that face. <gasps> Dad, no! I still love you! I still love you! I didn't stop it! Ah! Oh, come on! That did not happen! Yes, it did, Daddy! You were Mike Tyson and you bit my ear off! Oh, if I bit your ear off, then why do you have both your ears? Because you glued it back on. Oh, come on. Well, it's kind of hard not to believe him when I have all the evidence right here in front of me. What evidence? You have toilet paper and a balloon snake. Uh, I guess I didn't actually see any of the abuse, and he doesn't have any bruises on yeah, him. Yeah, he has no bruises on him. None at all. It's because you put bars of soap in a pillowcase and you beat me. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense, officer. Uh, well, I guess I don't really have enough evidence to arrest you. But, I am gonna have to stay here for 24 hours to keep an eye on you to make sure no abuse actually happens. What, you're gonna stay here for 24 hours? Yes, I'm gonna keep an eye on you. And since I'm gonna be here so long, I'm probably gonna need to eat dinner, take a bath, take a shit. Yeah, I, me and my wife just had a big argument, and I, I really don't want to go home, so probably just gonna stay here. Uh, I'll just sit right here, uh, and uh, you, you pretend I'm not here, just, just carry on. Okay. Well, Jeffy, since the nice officer is gone, uh, why did you call the cops on me and lie? Because you took my toy. Okay, well, I took your toy because you were hitting me with it. But you hit me with it, and then you broke it. Officer, what happens if I beat him? Well, I take him away from you and put him in a foster home. Foster, foster home for imaginary friends. That was a good show. Man, I like that show. What was the name of the little blue guy? Oh, Blue. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, that was a good show. All right, Jeffy, well, it's dinner time, so what would you like to eat for dinner? Um, Happy Meals. I want 20 Happy Meals. Okay, well, you're not going to get 20 Happy Meals, so uh, since you don't want to give me an adult answer, then come on, I got your dinner ready. Come on. Oh. All right, Jeffy, here's your dinner. Oh, I hate green beans, Daddy. Well, you need to eat them. And here's your dinner, too. I hate green beans, Daddy. Well, you both need to eat them. You know, this is child abuse. How? It's just a big-ass plate of green beans. There's no protein here. Well, kids need to eat their vegetables. Well, they gotta eat other stuff, too. You can't just eat vegetables. Well, what about vegans? They eat nothing but vegetables. Well, they're fucking weird. I don't know. Well, look, after you eat your vegetables, then you can get something else to eat. Well, Daddy, you wanna know what I think about these green beans? Wait, Jeffy, don't you do it. Don't you... Hey, stop yelling at your kid! Did you not see what he just did? Yeah, I saw it, and I agree with it. Now get your kid some better food. Okay, Jeffy, since you can't do anything wrong, what would you like for dinner? I already told you, I want 20 Happy Meals. Ooh, make that 21. You're not getting 20 Happy Meals. Happy Meal! Happy Meal! Happy Meal! Happy Meal! Okay, fine! Okay, fine! We'll get you Happy Meals. Come on, let's go get in the car. Let's get 21 Happy Meals. Yay! All right, Jeffy, here's your 20 Cheeseburger Happy Meals. And there's your one Chicken Nugget Happy Meal. Daddy, you better take me back to McDonald's right now. Why? Because they give me the same toy well, maybe that's the only toy they have. Oh, bullshit, Daddy! This is McDonald's! They have all the toys! This toy is really sad. What? I said the toy is really sad. The whole point is to throw them in the trash. If my life were a toy, it would be this. Because people just throw me in the trash. You know what, Jeffy? Eat all your cheeseburgers, and then I'll take you back to McDonald's. I'm not hungry! What? You're not hungry? You haven't ate anything yet! I'm full! Of what? Shit? Yeah! Jeffy, you know what? At least eat three of these cheeseburgers! I didn't like it. What, what, you haven't even tried it! I didn't like it! What, you wouldn't make me order 20 of them if you didn't like it! Look, eat the french fries! I didn't have to. That's it, I'm gonna hit him, I'm gonna hit him! You better not! I'm gonna hit him! Don't do it! I'm gonna hit him! Don't do it! Alright, that's it, Jeffy's going to foster care! Well, great, he can go to foster care, take him right now! I will, as soon as I'm done with my chicken nuggets. It's not a safe place for him to live. Take them right now! I, I will, I just have to finish my chicken nuggets! Well, you know what, Jeffy? Have fun in your other house or family or wherever you're gonna go. Just have fun in foster care! <laughs> Alright, Jeffy, go wait in the car. I'll be there in a minute. Okay! Yeah, Jeffy, have fun in your new foster home! Calm down, Mario. Look, I know your kid's just making all that stuff up. What, you do? Yeah, I saw the balloon snakes. It was hilarious. So if you know he's making everything up, then why are you on his side? Why are you doing all this? Well, because I want to teach him a lesson. Look, I'm going to go take him to a foster home, but really what I'm going to do is I'm going to scare him so he wants to start acting nicer, and he realizes he likes living here and doesn't want to live in a foster home. 
Oh, so you're helping me. Yeah, so if everything goes well, Jeffy will be back later tonight. Awesome, you're so awesome. Thank you, officer. Okay. Okay, Jeffy, that's your new foster home. Just walk up and knock on the door. My brother lives there. His name is Makes Bad Decisions Guy. You'll love him. All right, that's your new life. You have fun. Okay. Hey, who are you? Oh, I'm supposed to live here. No, you're not. I live here. No, the police officer man dropped me off and told me I was supposed to live here. The cops? You brought the cops here? No, he just dropped me off. No. Come in. I want to show you something. Check this out. I make candy sculptures and I sell them. I'm selling this one for $400. Would you buy that? Um, yeah? Yeah, I'd buy that. But 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 it's mine. I, I made that. I like it because it's all red like intestines. Like like when you rip somebody open, that's, that's what that looks like. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, hey, you like sharks? Yeah, I like sharks. Oh, look at my shirt. I like sharks. I, I, I like them. I like them because they eat people. Yeah, I like, I like sharks a lot. Oh, well, I'm getting kind of hungry, so can I have some of this candy? No, no, you do not eat the candy. The candy is art. You can't eat art. Art is art, and food is food. You can't, food is, food is not art, and art is not food. You can't, you can't eat, can't eat art. You can't eat art. Well, do you have any other food I can have? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, check this out. Earthworms. I picked them from the ground this morning. The early bird gets the worm. Oh. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, the, I'm the bird. I'm a bird. Oh, oh. Ooh. Good. Shut up, kid! That's just my buddy, Tim! Hey, Tim! Hey, <laughs> Tim don't talk much. Hey, Tim, what'd you bring me to eat? <laughs> what's this, what's this? Arm! Oh, I love arm! Hey, kid, you want some arm? Oh, no thank you! What? I don't want any arm. You, you don't... You don't want any arm. Mm -mm. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, hey, 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 Tim. Hey, Tim. He he said he didn't want any arm. He's being disrespectful in the house. Tim, get him. Oh. Ah! Ah, help me! Ah, somebody help me! Help me! Let me go! Okay, I'll eat the arm. All right, you lock the kid up? Mm-hmm. All right, great. We'll just take care of the kid in the morning, and we'll eat him. And then, and then I'll make a necklace out of his teeth. Now, he's only got two teeth, so it's going to be a small necklace, but I don't care. I'll do it anyway. All right, let's eat. <laughs> it's so dark in here, and I'm so scared. I really miss my daddy, and I want to go home. What am I going to do? Oh, we do! Oh, wonder if I get out there! Oh, 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 oh. oh man, it's jammed! I can't get out! Oh, 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 I know! I have an idea! When they go to sleep, I'll just run out the front door and run all the way home back to my daddy! Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll cut you. Now I'll stab you. I'll cut you. I'll stab you. Oh, oh, I can't wait to get home. I'm almost to the front door. Just a few more steps. I hope Jeffy learned his lesson. Uh, hello? Hey there, Mario. Jeffy didn't like his foster home, so he admitted that he made all that stuff up. Oh, did he? Yeah, he says he's sorry. Say he's sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't like living at the foster home, Daddy. I want to live with you. Okay, so in five minutes you'll start acting bad again? No, Daddy. I just really want to live with you. I like you and your house. Well, Jeffy, get inside the house right now. Okay, Daddy. Thank you so much, officer. You can thank me with another Happy Meal. I'll grab my keys. Yes! Hey, Donnie! 
Ask me why I have this bell. No. Well, I'm gonna tell you anyway. I'm tired of crapping my pants and sitting in it all day. <gasps> so you're gonna start using the bathroom? Well, hold on, Daddy. I got an even better idea. So every time I ring this bell, that's gonna let you guys know that I took a huge crap in my pants and I need one of you to change me. Jeffy, you're 18 years old. Hush. I'm talking. Every time I ring this bell, it's going to signal to you guys that a huge heaping pile of Jeffy dung has exited my turd tunnel into my shorts. So let me paint the picture for you, Daddy. I'm not wearing any underwear. I'm only wearing denim shorts and a diaper. So when I ring this bell, that means a big pile of Jeffy fecal has pushed through my denim shorts into my diaper, and one of you needs to change me. We're not going to change you, Jeffy. You're an adult. Uh oh, you know what that means? They're shit. Change me. I will now pat and smear. Mommy, is this what a pat smear is? Oh, fuck yeah. Jeffy, cut it out! Jeffy, no, we're not changing you. You're an adult. You're gonna sit in it all day until you learn to change yourself. Look, we're just gonna watch TV. Boss, boss, boss. Oh, hey there. Do you like Honey Nut Cheerios? Well, in one lucky box of Honey Nut Cheerios, you could possibly find a pair of Honey Nut Cheerio shoes. So go out there and buy all the Honey Nut Cheerios. Buzz, 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 buzz. Daddy! You see those shoes? I need those shoes! I need you to take me to the store right now so we can buy all your boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios. Okay, Jeffy, listen. Whenever we go to the store, I'll buy you one box of Honey Nut Cheerios and see if you win. One box? Only one box? I need all the boxes right now to make sure I get those shoes! Jeffy, listen, we don't have the money to buy all those boxes of cereal. Well, what about the credit card? I'm not going to run up my credit card buying a bunch of boxes of cereals on the chance you might win some shoes. Ah! You're ruining my life! Marvin, why don't you take him to the store and get him a box? Because, baby, he doesn't want one box. He wants all the boxes. And also, this sounds like a scam just to get you people to buy more cereal. I bet you those shoes don't even exist. Oh, Daddy has left his wallet by the front door. Father has royally effed up. <laughs> wow, you must really like Honey Nut Cheerios. I'm looking for shoes. Okay, well, th this isn't the shoe aisle. Um, I, I, I hope you're planning on buying all these. I am. Okay. okay. Um. All right, I spent $2,000 on Cheerios. Those shoes have to be in here. No. Jeffy, have you seen my wallet? <laughs> Jeffy! Where are you at, Jeffy? <laughs> Jeffy? Jeffy? Booga, 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 booga! Jeffy, what are you doing? They're not here, Daddy! The shoes are not here! What shoes? The Honey Nut Cheerio shoes! What? Jeffy, where did you get all these Cheerios from? I took your credit card and I went to the store and I bought all the boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios that they had. You are so what was this? Two thousand dollars. And you're telling me the shoes aren't in here? No, I was uh, I was upset too, Daddy. You'd think for that amount of money that the shoes would be in here, and they're not. I can't believe you did this, Jeffy. I cannot believe you. I mean, this is the lowest thing you've ever done. Let's go talk to your mother. Your mother has to hear this. Come on. Yes, sir. Baby! What's wrong, Marvin? Oh, Jeffy, you tell her, because I can't even think of the words. Mommy, I am a shithead. <gasps> Jeffy, don't say that. Marvin! No, it's true. Jeffy, tell her. Just tell her. Oh, yeah, Mommy. I'm sure you'll agree. What I did was, is I took Daddy's credit card and spent $2,000 on Honey Nut Cheerios. Jeffy! But did you get the shoes? No, don't beat me to the funny part. No, I didn't. But what I did do was, is I dumped all the Honey Nut Cheerios on the table and then I hid in the big pile of them. And then when Daddy walked by, I tried to scare him by going ooga booga. Aw, you were playing peekaboo? 
Yeah, except for when I went boo at daddy, he didn't peek us so good. Oh, listen, that's not the point of the thing. Listen, baby, he spent $2,000 on my credit card on cereal to get shoes that he didn't even get. And also, not to mention the big pile of Cheerios on the table downstairs. I'm talking the biggest mess you'll ever see. I'm sure there's not that many Cheerios, Marvin. Oh, there's so many. Just think of the biggest pile of Cheerios you could ever think and double it twice in your head. That's how big it is. Yeah, it's pretty big, mommy. I'm actually pretty proud of it. You want to see it? Yeah, let's go. See, baby, look! Oh my god! Get to eating, mommy. My cholesterol is about to be lower than my syndrome. What? Jeffy, you're not even eating them! You're just throwing them all over the place! Well, it's not my fault my hand mouth coordination is off! Listen, stop it! We're going back upstairs. Come on, no more eating cereal. Oh man, Jeffy, I just can't believe you. Daddy, I don't think you understand the real problem here. I still don't have the shoes. Do you want me to go to another store and see if I can get some more Cheerios? No, Jeffy, you're not buying any more Cheerios. I canceled my credit card, so you can't buy any more, okay? Well, how am I supposed to get the shoes? Jeffy, the shoes do not exist. They don't exist? Well, what about the commercial? The commercial's lying. It's a scam, Jeffy. It's a, it's a scam from the cereal company to get people to go out and buy cereal to hopefully get shoes that don't exist. So just go to bed and think about all the stupid things you did today. Ah, uh, my life sucks. I guess I'll go to bed without the shoes. Here I go, off to bed, not happy because I don't have the shoes. <sighs> Look at me at school, sad because I hate my life. <laughs> yes, that's good. Seeing other people sad makes me happy. Oh. oh my god, PJ, your new shoes are so cool! Yeah, I know. They're so hot! Where did you get them? Well, I was just eating Honey Nut Cheerios and they were just right there in the cereal box. You're so lucky, PJ. Yeah, not everyone can have Honey Nut Cheerio shoes. Huh? He has the shoes? He has the shoes? You got the new Cheerio shoes? Where did you get them from? Back off. Give PJ some space. Yeah. Now, ladies, ladies, let the man admire the shoes. Go ahead, look. Where did you get the Cheerio shoes from? I found them in a cereal box. Well, no dick. I bought so many boxes of Cheerios and it didn't have the shoes in. How many boxes did you open to get the shoes? I got these on the first try. That's ridiculous. I want those shoes. What can I do to get the shoes? PJ's not going to give you his shoes. Yeah! Okay, ladies, stop trying to speak for PJ because it's starting to piss him off. And then the P and PJ is going to stand for Pissed Off Jammies Crenshaw, and you do not want to see Pissed Off Jammies Crenshaw. Okay, sorry, PJ. Sorry. Okay, so you want my shoes, right? Yes. What can I do to get the shoes? Well, you can't buy shoes like these, so you're going to have to trade me for them. Okay, what do you want? Well, you smell like shit. Well, that's because I crapped my pants the other day, and my daddy didn't change me for 18 hours. Okay, well, I like your helmet. Okay. PJ, don't trade your shoes for his helmet. Okay, you're done. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. You're done, too. <laughs> Just can't find good women. Okay, sorry about that. So, yeah, I want your helmet. Okay, you can have it. Yeah, it'll look great with my PJs, and it'll protect my head when I'm using my tech decks, because I don't want to hurt myself. Okay, deal. 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 Bam, Daddy PG's hose! Jeffy, you got the shoes! Sure did, Mommy, and I'm feeling like a pimp. Jeffy, how much did those shoes cost you? Actually, Daddy, it didn't cost me anything. All I did was trade my helmet. Peep the no helmet and the wicked do. Jeffy, you need your helmet. Helmet schmelmet. You know who needs a helmet? Mike Snicker Pippets. Who's Mike Snicker Pippets? I don't know, but he might need a helmet. Did you give your helmet to Mike Snicker Pippets? I don't know. Ask Mike Snicker Pippets. I don't know Mike Snicker Pippets. Well, he might need a helmet. I don't have time for these games, Jeffy. I'm still $2,000 in credit card debt because you bought a bunch of cereal and opened it and poured it on the table downstairs. Well, Daddy, you can always return the cereal. I cannot return open cereal, Jeffy. Sure you can, Daddy. If you don't like it, you can return it. Marvin, they might give you a store credit. Okay, fine. I'll call the store. Where'd you buy that? Target. Okay, I'll, I'll call Target and see if they'll give me store credit or, or something. Jeffy, they're so cute. Look, the little Cheerios, and it has a little bee on Hold on, Mommy. Back off. Don't touch them. I don't want your germs on them. Okay, I just called Target, and they said they're going to send an employee here to see if they can return all those items we bought. Oh, that must be them. Hello? Hey, it's Brooklyn Guy from Target, not Alex from Target. He was on Ellen. I don't know what the fuck that was about. It's not really fair to everybody else who works at Target that he gets to be on TV just because he's hot. I wonder what he's doing these days. Hopefully not still working at Target. Although working at Target kind of worked out for him because he got to be on TV, so who knows. 
Anyway, you called me because you wanted to return something? I mean, we don't usually show up to your house like this, but to be honest, I was kind of curious. Well, my son bought a bunch of boxes of cereal and I wanted to- Oh yeah, I remember him. Yeah, he just cleaned out all the Honey Nut Cheerios. Then like a bunch of 80 year olds came in after, they were like, where are all the Honey Nut Cheerios? And I had to explain that a kid bought them and they were all pretty angry. Well, I would like to return the cereal. Oh yeah, that's no problem, as long as it's not open. Is it open? Uh, maybe a few boxes. Oh, well, you can return the ones that aren't open. Okay, yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Okay, here they are. Mm-hmm. Okay, so where are the ones that haven't been opened? Um, I think they've all been opened. Mm, mm hmm Yeah, no. No, you can't return these. Well, why not? What do you mean, why not? I can't just put these back in the box and then feed them to people. Well, look, the ones on the top haven't touched the table. Look, the, these down here are bad, but these are all good. We can put these back in the box. Mm-mm, mm, -mm, mm -mm. No, no, it doesn't work like that. Well, can you at least give me store credit? Come on. Well, see, the problem with that is that I don't know how I'm gonna explain to my boss why I'm giving you $2,000 in store credit just because you bought a bunch of Cheerios, dumped them on a table, and then didn't eat them. Listen, my son was just looking for those, like, Cheerio shoes. <gasps> Did he find them? No. Oh. That's a shame. Man, those things are going for $10,000. Did, 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 did you say $10,000 for those shoes? Yeah, 10,000 smackaroonies. Well, um, who, who would pay that for those? I mean, I would. I really want those. I mean, I know I don't have feet, but I still think it'd be pretty cool. Okay, uh, well, my son actually did find them. Okay, you literally just told me you didn't have them. Because I didn't know how you'd react if I told you he had them. What? It's not a Powerball ticket, they're shoes. I just happen to want them. Oh, okay, listen, listen. So my son has them, so you give me $10,000 if, if I show you the shoes. Show me the shoes to prove that you have them, because this, this whole thing is very weird. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Okay, here's the Cheerio shoe! Those are not the Cheerio shoes. Jeffy, what happened to your Cheerio shoes? I traded them back to Mike Snicker Pippets for my helmet because I missed it. I'm sorry, Mike who? Snicker Pippets. Jeffy, be serious. This nice man right here was going to give us $10,000 for those Cheerio shoes. Well, he can go buy them from Mike Snicker Pippets. Okay, I'm sorry. Who is Mike Snicker Pippets? He's a guy in my class and he wears pajamas and sunglasses inside. Okay, that sounds like a lie. Well, it's not. He's real and he's inside. Knock, knock. Uh, who's there? Mike Snicker Pippets. Mike Snicker Pippets who? Mike Snicker Pippets let me in. It's cold out here. Jeez. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Oh, no, no, no. What about the cereal? You, you, you keep it. Oh, no, the $10,000! Jimmy! Why'd you do this to me, Jimmy? Well, Daddy, let me tell you something.